Hello Gumpla fans, Tataro speaking. This is the unboxing of the Master Grade Figure Eyes 1 2 8 scale Common Rider OXO from Common Rider Double. Um, this came out a while ago and I just got around to getting it and it's one I've been actually looking forward to getting for a while. So let's just take you around the box. So again, Master Grade Figure Eyes, here you see the 40th anniversary of, um, right here, of Kamen Rider, and this is the, I think the Toei, to yeah, Toei Company, so it's, it's official, you know, they're not going over any uh, copyright issues. Over here we get a nice red, um, it's not really metallic, it's just, you know, red with, like, slight blemishes of white, in order to make it look metallic, as like the sheen. So again, Kamen Rider Axle, um, MG Figure Eyes, Common Rider Double. Here's the logo for Double, the W with the two halves. And here we see Common Rider um, Axle in his uh, two forms, his rider, his I guess his rider form. You now he stands tall, pretty bulky actually, or armored, you know. It has a nice, huge blade. And then you get his other form, a bike form. He trans So he can transform into his bike form. And it does look pretty nice in, in this box art, at least. And over here, we got a nice um, back shot of Oxo. Or not back shot, but you see him posed. You know, slashing down his engine blade. And here you see the logo for Oxo. I really like that logo. You know, nice A. And of course, this is a Bandai kit. Here you see some information, and you see 2011. Really? 11? Oh, oh, okay. I think this was out in January. Something like that, if it's 11. Yeah, I think it's, this is January uh, of 2011. In the box, as you can tell from me having to show you around, is pretty long and thick, or pretty long. So I'm bringing in a regular, um, regular master grade box. Sorry, it's about double the width, but in thickness, it um, it's gonna be completely different. Uh, here, let's try it again. So nice and square. Let's focus for you guys. So it's pretty much double the width. On thickness, um, it is. Uh, let's see. Okay. The other one comes out on top by like two inches. So I mean, twice as big, but it's a little bit. This one's a little bit higher, so it's squatter. So this this will pose you problems, I guess, with the box size you want to get, or it will be sent in. But again, everything's measured by weight, thankfully, unless it's an odd shape. So. I guess I'll take it on the box. Here we see a couple of his features. Here you see Kamen Rider and Axel in the front with his engine blade. That it's you know blade and then it opens up kind of like a uh, shotgun, and you can put in the engine memory. It has um, a gadget too, the Stag Phone. I think I believe it's called in Stag Phone and his memory. Here we have um, from Story. Here you see like the official costume, I guess, from this show. And here you see the back shot. And you see the wheel right there. The wheel and the two half wheels. And you see his oxal driver, which is his belt, with the um, kind of like handlebars and the memory. And his face, you see how it's built with a nice like mono eye kind of thing. And then you put in the, this clear blue with the crest, and you get that. You also get a display stand, so you know you don't have to worry about him uh, toppling over. And you do get some action, like you get the the elbow, you get a nice bend. He he has a neck, and he look he can look up. His leg bends really well. He can spread. Um, I guess that's his shoulder. He has a toe and his leg, he has the swiveling uh, leg waist joint. 
Over here, you see Kamen Rider Axel. The A and the pose from the other one. Really nice. Here we see him in mid transformation how he prepares. He takes the belt off of his belt, holds it, and then he it expands and um well I think there's some part shopping there. And like you it turns into the bike with a seat, oddly enough. And you do get rubber wheels and they are definitely sized. There's some like mass transformation there. And you do get a you get a bike stand so he can I think that's what that means. No no, here you go. He, you get a bike stand in order for it to stay upright. You see, you see the two different handles, the wheels, the seat, mid the transformation, and here you see um, Cyclone Joker riding him like he did in the show, um, unbuilt or well built and uh, lined I guess, and then the other Common Rider double series like uh, Cyclone Joker, Luna Trigger, Heat Metal, Fung Joker, and Skull. Now right here you get. Big stickers and the same things the other side. Now this, let's do it this way. You open it. Let's put this in the background. We take this to the side. And the first runner we get is, of course, the A runner. Oh, actually, Common Rider Double Number Six. Okay. And this sprue seems to have made, been made into. Oh, see, that's a nice show, probably. Okay. So I'm actually gonna open this. Show you the access because I it, this will be one of my summer projects. Uh, don't wanna break anything. Okay, so first complaint about the figureized line. Stickers. These things are huge. This is my hand. It's pretty big. But, I mean, it's not as if every surface is covered. There's a lot of surface area here that is not covered, and it's just because of printing. And so everything is, um, I guess, in in sections. Like, here's the stack phone. Uh, this whole thing is for the engine blade, so that's going to look horrific if you don't paint it. Here's the face, the driver, again, the stack phone. But, yeah, so big sticker sheet, which I hopefully won't use. Here we get the A-Runner. And it just says Common Rider number six over here, double number six. And 2009, but I think that's because of the show they come from. And then we get a nice, um, I, don't, I don't think it's like metallic finish, but it's like, you know, that um, metallic -y red. Like, I don't know how to really describe it. It's like a light red. And here's a part for the engine blade. Here you get parts for the head, parts for the shoulders, both sides, and then the top. Here we see the I think this is the stat the engine or stag memory. Uh I wanna say the engine engine memory. A little cover. And here is the front. You see a big gap there. And if you look because if you look at the character, he has this huge grill right there. It's really cool. Here's his memory, the axle memory. And if you look closely, there's no detail on either side. Which means you can't really just go in there with a pen. It, you have to use a sticker. Here we see this part. Um, it's actually pretty big also. I mean, I, I don't know what to compare it with. Here's the mid torso. Yeah. And here's that, like, the stomach. The stomach. You get a lot of these little dots. And this is all the waist. And then you get his belt. So here, both sides, the back, or sorry, the front, and the back and front covers and big space and a nice deep clear blue and, uh, and that's one of the things I really like and it's really interesting how there's no color in here 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 so eh, odd and this whole this whole time I'm gonna be I'm wondering if there's gonna be a trial that's gonna come out and if there is I'm probably gonna buy it so that's the A runner uh, let's see, B1, okay, we got three runners in this bag, oh, don't want to bend that, Five. okay, so let's go with a B runner first, again, that same red, deep red, 
this is all joints and it's the oh no there we go that makes sense b1 runner as you can see so you see all see joints covers here is like parts of the knees i guess and the elbow like here you can see the um oh sorry here you can see the elbow some covers can't really guess too much from these parts but yeah pretty cool this goes in the center i guess i think like in his grill so yeah <laughs> his grill <laughs> so this is the b1 runner so there's gonna be another half runner somewhere which i'm gonna have to find actually let's check it out right now i found it I guess I can show you this right now, and then I'll go to the, to the other ones. Okay. So this is the B2 runner, B2, and you get those same pieces. And if you look over here, you see this. You can overlay them on top of each other, and they're the same thing, which is really clever of Bandai. So I'm just gonna put these A, B. I'm not gonna go in order, but it's just working out. Um, then you get J1. The, this is rubber. Pretty hard rubber, like tire rubber, but this is pretty soft. So you can tell I, I can bend it pre a lot. This wheel is not moving. You can see some nice detail there for like traction or whatever. The treads, there we go. And you get a, a, a smaller one, full size smaller one, and a half one over here. Oh, I wish we could see that more. There you go. I, you saw it for a second. I don't know why it's not really focusing. But yeah. So wheel. Then we get the J2, which is over here. But you get another big wheel. And the another half wheel. So, oh. You get two big wheels. I guess one of them is going to be wasted. I'm not sure though. So J1, J2 again. And I... I was very happy when I when I learned that these are rubber. Like I didn't want them to be like plastic. I don't know. I mean, a lot better. Then you have the F runner, which is a you know matte silver. And you here you see his crest in the middle of his forehead. All right. Okay. Let's try this. I've seen people use this trick. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. I gotta do it. <laughs> so here you, there you see the A, some uh, silver accents. Here are the parts for the, that go in the front and the back, kind of like the gas caps. Here you see his um, eye crest, or like his like mono eye, I guess you could say. You saw the detail right there, and here you see a nice like, you know. The not the spokes, but like the middle of the base of the wheels. Here you see his grill. Here are parts for his. Here are his driver parts, and you see another A right there. And you see um, the. I guess that's a brake. Brake thingy. And you, you see you see some more joints. Some really oddly shaped things too, like so. It's pretty cool. And then you come for the F too. Where you have more more of the wheels, like for the spokes and stuff, and more joints. So this is like the second part. Okay, like hurry up. Let's do the this one. Hang on. I can open this like this. I can hurry up. Next, you get uh, plain red parts. No shininess to them, but they're all frame. This is the D runner. It is ABS. Here you see the joints for the um, shoulder pads, joints for the arms and the legs. Like the, and here you see like the base for his uh, body, arm joints I believe, and so, you know, here, here's the swivel I guess, and some more parts. Then you get black. And here you see a couple interesting things. So first, you get handlebars. And here you see another set for the um, for the driver, along with the the safety. 
and here you see the black hands they are 2.0 hands so kind of like really big for people like bony and we'll see how that looks and you get three three sets of handlebars which is really odd all of them have holes although some are bigger than the others so I mean each one has a specific purpose I believe and uh, yeah joints joints here you see parts for the back of his back the back of his uh, wheel his back wheel here you see like the main frame or the frame for his for his, wheel, for his wheelbase I guess I don't know what to call it and here's part for his engine blade and that's already pretty long next is another black runner and black these these parts are huge here, let's do this. You see the frame for the wheels. You see the seat that goes on there. That's really odd choice, but okay. Um, you see more like more frame for the wheel, so it is a little bit hollow. He has some uh, thick, thick frame parts. These are huge. Wow. Next. Is the C? Oh, oh finally. C makes its appearance. We have a polycap runner. Do I see a name? PCF1. So this is like the, from the figure eyes line. And they added parts, you can see. You can see the little tabs here. And I'm going to be look out and look up for all these tabs as as I build this, because I want again, I want to know if there's going to be a trial out that's coming up, going to come out. Here's the A and the C runner. Again, tries to support. This is all the hips, arms. More parts. Nice tread. Here's the the upper arm and the and parts for the lower arm. Two more bags. I'm sorry. So here we get silver, some nice silver parts, parts for the feet as you can tell, parts for the side, I think these are parts for the legs also, his legs are full of, here's parts for his engine blade, you can see that, and tubes, you can see through it, tubes, tubes, and here you see parts for the engine blade, the nice long blade. I'm gonna have to do some uh, some chrome on there, I guess. And the G runner in black. Let's bring this up. Parts for the frame. Here's again. Here's this stag phone. And two parts. And here's this actual stag. Here's a stag and two parts. And here's a stag phone with detail in there. And some nice black accents, which I'm glad I'm not gonna have to paint or mask. And you get the clear. Uh, figure eyes action base, you cannot see that anyway. Um, really nice of them to be giving you that. And here you get the same parts for a figure eyes, but then you get the bike stand. As you can tell, you just mount on the floor and put it, and then you put the um, one of the, you know, here's the wheel, and here's this thing. Yeah. It goes on here, so it's pretty cool. Now the manual. I was excited part for a lot of things, but not, I guess not to you guys. So, here's the manual, double. Here you see him in his little engine cap, and you see a nice visor with the A. Kamen Rider, figure eyes, double axle. And then you see the back. Here you see this. Side shot, drivers, motorcycle. And you see all the colors, and these are all actually candy coats like clear red and stuff like that so I'm very happy and that's, that's actually what I'm going to end up doing with them. <clears throat> you see inside the manual story and this actually looks like the mid part in, or like the recap part in the episodes like oh in the last Kamen Rider 
That's what they tell you everything like, with little arrows. <clears throat> Instructions, stickers, what parts goes to what. Here you see how to cut parts off. I like how they make it individual for everything. Then you see the runners. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 runners overall. And you get the little part that says, you know, if you want to buy anything. And, wow, I'm going to say rubber. I'm going to say rubber. Like for the wheels and stuff, doesn't cost that much. And here you see the order form for Japan only because they hate us, Gaijin. And here you see you build the chest, attach the wheel in the back. You build the head, arms, 20 minutes. Information all his low parts, his driver, same shots from the middle, from before. Here you see the whole, um, his waist unit and his driver, legs, and then we go into his engine blade. Once you're done with that, you get into how to transform him. You get 19 pages, and 20, I guess 20 with the back, and there, okay guys. So after that long unboxing that took me 22 minutes, that was the unboxing for this. Uh, come back later where I'm going to be talking about my plans for the competition for this awesome kit. So thank you very much guys. Thanks for being patient and I'll see you guys next time.